Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, it's perfect weather here in Chicago today and across most of the Midwest. Overnight, bean prices are a little bit higher. Corn and wheat prices about unchanged, and most of the outside markets are also pretty steady and, and stable. Um, overnight, the USDA uh, estimated the corn crop at 69% good to excellent. That's uh, unchanged from last week. 55% um, of the crop is uh, pollinating versus 56 average. We saw Illinois corn, Indiana corn, Missouri corn all drop a little bit, but uh, Iowa, Minnesota, and this time even Ohio actually improved a little bit. Soybean ratings also unchanged at 62%, good to excellent versus 73 last week, continuing to push the debate that the yield is probably smaller uh, than what the USDA is saying in their July uh, report. 56% of the crop is blooming, that's near average, and 17% is setting pods, which is also near average. Um, Arkansas, um, Minnesota, Nebraska all improved a little bit, while Indiana, Iowa, Missouri, and Ohio went down a little bit. So quite of a mixed bag as far as ratings are concerned. Um, the spring wheat crop condition, 70% good to excellent versus 70 last year. 82% um, still in North Dakota. Next week they get the annual crop tour through North Dakota that will give us a pretty good handle of the crop size and the quality of the crop and, and when uh, harvest is going to begin. And also uh, Washington was down another 8 percentage points with only 21% good to excellent. Winter wheat harvest improved 10% at 75% down versus 74 average. Um, there was some reports talking about El Nino strengthening. Uh, NOAA estimated the land and surface temperatures January through June above the 20th century average and the highest since they started keeping records in 1880. Overnight we had some rains in the southern part of the Midwest. Today the rains in Oklahoma. Six to ten day calls for normal to above temps would could offer some support underneath the market, but the eight to fourteen day calls for normal temps and normal rains which could cause some resistance above the market. Um, we noted that the Bloomberg uh, Commodity Index is near a 13-year low as people take risk off. Funds are still long, about 80,000 beans, 171 corn, although they sold 17 corn yesterday, and 19 wheat. Open interest uh, was up 22,000 in the corn yesterday. So uh, we might flounder in grain prices until the USDA crop report. Weather looks mostly good, though. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM Radio Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day.